Hey, there you are. Hey. Oh, it's okay. You'll be all right. Ow! What are we gonna make? A video of today. It's been a couple of weeks since I did a blog. Pretty busy holidays. You know, good stuff, kids. Yum. <laughs> Quite a few things have changed. I went and picked up that pastel. I think that was... I mentioned that in the last video. And... I found an Enchi. A male. Who is more than capable of producing babies because it already has. Not for me. But for some other local breeder. Start an Instagram page. You ever seen that? I've never done that stuff before. So I just post in pictures, and every time I see a picture that I like, I love it. <laughs> but, and then I follow their page. It's crazy, in like three days, I got like 40 followers. What's that? what it's like on Instagram I've never done the Instagram thing <laughs> as you can see I changed things up a little bit built a couple shelves still got four of them in those little totes they're all doing really good and they are shedding out and yeah, so, yeah, put in a little thermometer and some shelves. Jess is supposed to be bringing me home some more wood today, so maybe I can do something with that. This is where my Enchi lives, but he's been pretty much tucked away since I got him a couple days ago. Yeah, they're all doing good. Let's see if I can show you the snake I picked up in Idaho. Real quick. There she is. She isn't calmed down very much, but I mean, at least I can stick my hand in there and pet her and give her attention. She's a monster eater. She loves eating. Holy crap, that snake eats so much. Oh, look. She's popping her head up. She wants to say hi. It's probably like, hmm, the heat source you have in your hand looks like it could be tasty. So, I'm going to not bother her anymore. Look at Sailor. Sailor's been my trouble eater. She looks like she's going into shed as well. She's been my trouble eater. But the other day, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to feed her in her tank. See if she'll take the mice. And sure enough, she took two. Took two hoppers. Pretty good girl. She's looking good. She's growing. Gosh, she's beautiful. And there is Sage. Still looking beautiful. Still doing very well. Eating. Just like going crazy. Eating. Let's see if I can get her head out. There we go. That's my beautiful girl. Yeah. She's doing pretty good. She's a little feisty since I put her in these bigger enclosures. I think I may have switched them over just a little too soon. Because they're not quite big enough for them yet, but 
I wanted to get this closet project rolling. And here is Badger. Our little girl. And she's Spinner. She's a... She's a pretty good snake. She has bit me. So... But, I mean, that's what you get from... When you get snakes from wholesalers. She's a little dry. Let's wet her down real quick. What the... What? Alright, this is pasty. I'm gonna see if I can get her hissing. She loves to hiss. And that duke I just showed, this is from this snake. I cannot believe that. Look at her. She's pretty beautiful. I think she's like either pastel unchi or pastel calico. I'm not sure. She could be some straight pastel too. But, yeah. She's looking good. Doing really good. Eating really well. <laughs> I found him. Okay, so this is Penny. She might actually be going to a new home. We'll have to see. She's a very beautiful pinstripe. Come on, let me see your face. There we go. Yeah, she's a pretty good little girl. She's a little nippy, but with a little love, she's going to tame right down. She hasn't nipped at me in a couple weeks actually so I think she's on her way she's a good girl my boy clown he's a puma spark in yellow belly he's a good boy ah! what was that <laughs> that was gonna get bit again I do not know what his deal is I think he's finally starting to get out of the shy stage and become a little bit more assertive. How you doing there, boy? <laughs> you gonna do something crazy? Wow. Oh, I don't care if I'm used to getting bit by snakes or not. It's still kind of scary when they come at you like that. I don't care how big they are. Who's ready for some banana? Oh, look at him. He's always stunning looking. He's getting ready to go in shed as well. He's a good boy. He's getting big, too. Pounding them mice down. He's about ready to switch over to hop or um, wrap hops here soon. I haven't weighed him lately. Maybe we can do another way video i know you guys i kind of redundant on my video subject so but yes this is bozo the head clown and there's timmy timmy's getting ready to go to a new home next week or two he got himself a new mommy she's gonna do really well with him it's her first snake, so she's got a lot to learn, but it'll be an adventure for sure. This is Timmy, my boy albino, or I guess no longer mine. He's a good boy too. Great beginner snake. And this is... Tammy. 
She's also a really good girl. She's female albino. Nice and big and fat. They just pounded their first rat. Both of these guys just pounded their per first rat pups. Last feeding. And they're doing really well. This is Tammy. This is the new boy. Meet Bubbles. He so far has been a really good snake. Um, he hasn't struck at me, hasn't bit me. He um pretty chill, pretty relaxed. I'm still erring on the side of caution when handling him, just because I know he's in a new place. He's a little freaked out, so we'll let him take some time to get acquainted. I'm not going to try to handle him too much. I've handled him about 10 minutes today, and I try I at least give him some attention and pet him, but not too much activity. He's chilling out, ready for his new girlfriend. Whenever she comes down and gets up to wait. So, a couple updates. I've ordered some new hides. I got some nice big hides for them. They're on their way. Went to Reptile Basics. Great place to go. Um, I did switch. I am in the process of switching everything over to Reptichip. Because I got some Reptichip and blown away. That stuff is pretty awesome. Um... Let me see what else. I know I can think of something. Yeah, I got I got a probing kit coming. So maybe we'll do a video of me learning how to probe. Hopefully I don't hurt any of my babies. <laughs> but I think I'll be fine. Um, and I also got a bigger, more durable snake hook. So my snakes are only getting bigger, so they might I may need it from time to time. Ball pythons most likely won't need it, but just in case. Um... I've been noticing since it took the last bite that I'm a little more flighty when it comes around these snakes. I'm a little bit more caution and my nerves are a little more on end. But I think after a few more bites, <laughs> I should be pretty comfortable taking bites. I mean, I'm used to it. It's not bad. The little guys bite me quite often. So it's just something I think I need to learn to get over. And... It'll get easier. Part of dealing with snakes is learning how to deal with yourself. I'm not so trusting as I thought I was with these things, but that's okay. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog. Um, I'll try to make them more regularly, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do one every day, simply because I get kids and I work 40 hours and you know all that stupid life stuff. But at least I can give it a good shot. Maybe one a week, two a week. We'll see. It just depends on what you guys think. If you want more videos, please give me some more subscribers. Like the video. Share the video. I'm now on Instagram. So make sure you um, find me on Instagram. Follow me. I will follow you. I will follow you. Oh yeah, I oh, ordered some Chris Hardwick snakes. I got two pies. They're on their way. Well, uh, there's kind of a shipping freeze right now, but January 6th that shipping freeze will be gone, and I can I can get my pies, and I'll be finally invested in the pie project. And guess what? They're Hardwick line snakes. I ordered Chris Hardwick snakes. I got Chris Hardwick snakes coming. Chris Hardwick. Thank you! Oh my god! Dream come true. Total dream come true. I mean... I got Chris Hardwick snakes and I ordered them. I paid for them. They're all good to go. I just gotta wait for them to get here. Oh my god! But anyways... That's all I've got time for today, folks. This has been Punk Rocka. For another Punk Rocka vlog. And I'm out.